What's going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. Today we are talking about the 1.20 update and going over absolutely everything we know about the update so far at this point. Of course, there's still some features that we haven't seen in snapshots that we already know about. And I'm sure there's some more features that Mojang has planned uh, as well that we haven't even heard about yet, but we can go ahead and start talking about what we already know for the 1.20 update, just so we stay up to date before this update releases later this year. So let's jump right into it today. And as you can see, just based off of my apparel and my ride, we have a few cool, really cool things to go over first. The first and the latest is this trimmed armor. This is just one set of it that I'm wearing right here. Uh, I don't remember which set, let's see. It's the Dune Armor Trim, uh, which you'll be able to find in the Desert Pyramids. We'll go over where to find each of those templates uh, in this video as well. And of course, right here, you can see the brand new mob, the camel. Now this isn't the only mob we're getting in 1.20, but it is the one that we've seen already in these snapshots. Camels are awesome. They're basically horses uh, with just a few different features with them. Mobs cannot hit you while you're on top of a camel. Uh, it's just too high for them. Of course, skeletons can still shoot stuff at you. Endermen can still hit you, but you're out of range of other mobs that come up and try to hit you, which can be very useful for a lot of different situations. Camels also just look cool. They walk right over fences. So it's definitely a very interesting mob that we're going to have a lot of fun with in the 1.20 update. Well, we've got a lot of other stuff to talk about other than the camel. So let's go ahead, leave him up there and we'll move on. All right, so the first thing we'll talk about is armor trim. Now, armor trim is the newest feature that we've seen for the 1.20 update, and you can see some of the examples that I've put up right here. Now, I've exclusively used diamond armor also with gold trim, but you're actually able to customize this a lot more. So you can do different colors on diamond, basically every color except for diamond on diamond, and you can do similar things to netherite and iron armor. All of that you'll be able to do in the smithing table, which has seen some changes as well. So if we open it up here, we'll actually see that there are three slots over here now. One of them is for a smithing template, one is for your armor, and then one is for the color that you wanna do. So you can see these are all the templates right in front of each armor here. So if we wanna use one of these, we can just come up to it, uh, say we'll use this one, and then we'll come over to the smithing uh, table. We'll put in our items. Here we'll do redstone. Let's actually save one of those. And we can do that similarly for each of these. So if we want, uh, say, boots with amethyst, we can do that. We'll take that one. We'll do uh, a pair of legs with emeralds. And we can completely change the color of the armor that we're seeing here. And so now I have a completely different look, different colors, different uh, textures, everything, just by using the different templates and then different colors. So you're actually able to do a lot with this. It should be very interesting seeing uh, what people's armor looks like in the new updates. You'll also be able to find all of these templates in your world. Uh, we'll go over that towards the end of the video. I'll show you where each and every one of these can be found. And once you find these, you can actually duplicate it as well. So let's take like this one because I know what block I need for it. Uh, we'll actually need one nether rack. So we'll take that in there with seven diamonds and you get two of them. So this is gonna be expensive. It does take seven diamonds in order to do this, but it is gonna be a very in game late stage thing and gives you something else to use your diamonds on. I expect we'll see some more changes to this as uh, these snapshots and everything come out and as we get closer to the 1.20 update, but this is the current system for it. And honestly, it may be expensive, but I don't mind it at all because how many of these am I really going to be duplicating? Another change that's coming with armor is upgrading from diamond to netherite. So this is actually going to be a little bit harder now because you're going to need a netherite template. So let me just grab that here. We'll grab just a stack of them so we can do all the armor. And then in here, you'll use the template. You'll use a piece of uh, diamond armor, and then you'll use this to actually get an upgraded piece of armor. 
And you're going to do similar things with each armor. And you can see since I already have these uh, trimmed with gold, they're all going to come out with gold as well. And then we can put those on and see the textures and everything that we have now with that armor trim. So those are the basics of the new armor trim system and the new netherite process. I think it makes a lot of sense uh, to actually make this process a little bit harder to get that netherite armor uh, and to also do this trim. Uh, it's definitely going to be expensive in order to do, but I do think it's worth it and makes sense in terms of the actual game mechanics. So a couple other things we can take a look at without even moving right here. Uh, we have hanging signs, which I've labeled basically everything we're looking at. Uh, there's a few variations of the hanging sign. You may see it with this bar above, or if there's another hanging sign without that bar. Uh, same goes if there's a block above it as well. You won't have that bar above it. And of course, we also have the bamboo blocks, which you can see a couple variations of right there. But there is basically all the variations of bamboo. Uh, so we'll be able to take a look at those as well if we just jump right down here and here we can see This is the standard bamboo planks down here We have a bamboo mosaic block and then this is also going to be craftable with nine bamboo We'll have the block of bamboo and then the stripped block of bamboo so similar to uh, all the other wood basically if you have an axe you can strip this and turn it into that stripped bamboo block these are also the bamboo fence posts, the trap doors, and the doors as well. I really like the, te the texture of all these. They make sense for bamboo as well, especially with these kind of uh, lacy looking textures here. But I think it's a really cool looking block. Definitely going to be very cool seeing what people do with this. And of course, it's always nice having uh, kind of new variations of wood blocks, especially with bamboo, which we've had in the game for so long, but we've never had any block type for it. Also with bamboo, if we jump down here, we'll also have the bamboo boats. Now, these are gonna be a bit different than regular boats, just texture-wise. They'll look more like bamboo rafts. I actually really like the look of these. They look pretty cool having a raft instead of an actual boat. And of course, you can put a chest on it as well, just the same as you can with boats uh, since the 1.19 update. Also, in my bamboo boat, I've stored a couple new spawn eggs as well. This really only matters for the creative players, or if you're trying to do something in creative. Completely forgot how to get out of a boat for a second. But now we have spawn eggs for things like the snow golem, RIP, and the iron golem as well. I gotta say, having done some shorts before where I needed armies of either iron golems or snow golems, I would have loved having these spawn eggs before. It takes so long to just individually make them, so it's nice to finally have eggs to put all these guys up without having to get a bunch of iron blocks and pumpkins. Also, in one of the first snapshots that we got after the Minecraft Live event, Bookshelves. Bookshelves have a new feature as well. These are actually a different type of bookshelf. This is the chiseled bookshelf, which you can see here, you can place as empty and actually fill with different kinds of books. Now, something we've actually seen since Minecraft Live is we've seen a few upgrades for this. So I can specifically take out that one. I get a book and quill. That one, I get an enchanted book. That one, I get another enchanted book, book and quill. But basically you can select the actual exact book you want from these shelves without having to just fill them up from the front, which you had to do initially when the update came out. They just filled up like that. But now you can actually place wherever you want in the bookshelf, which is really convenient and also looks pretty cool as well. The textures for the chiseled bookshelves are all going to be the same, so they're going to have the light blue to dark blue through these different colors, and that's going to stay the same in every single one. But I think these actually look really nice. We can actually put a regular bookshelf next to it. Uh, the textures are, of course, different, uh, but these are going to be really useful in libraries to store lots of enchanted books, and I think they look really nice together as well. We can also use hoppers with these books as well. So if I clear my inventory out here real quick and I start taking books, it just gets instantly filled because I have a chest or rather a hopper full of books right behind it. So this is gonna have some great uses 
uh, for just refilling your bookshelves when you have lots of enchanted books stored up, or if you just want your books to autofill into these, you're able to do that with hoppers now. Should be very useful uh, for different redstone contraptions as well. We should definitely be seeing some interesting makes uh, with these later down the line. Also, if we just run over here, uh, another new feature that has come out in the 1.20 snapshots is mob heads and note blocks. So you'll be able to get all these mob heads in survival, uh, the piglin you can get by exploding one with a creeper, and once you put them on top of a note block, you'll actually hear that mob sound. <laughs> This is really cool. I think this is a great functionality to have in the game, giving players the ability to make all these sounds themselves. Uh, it should be definitely interesting to see all the redstone contraptions that get hooked up just to scare players with maybe a creeper noise or a zombie noise. And if you're worried about the camel, don't worry. He is still just chilling up there on top of his tree. So now we've talked about basically everything that we've seen in these snapshot features for the 1.20 update. The only other thing left to talk about is the sniffer. So the sniffer is the new mob coming in the 1.20 update. Uh, it was voted on at the Minecraft live event. Basically, it's going to come as kind of an ancient mob that we are bringing back to our worlds, and it's going to have some really cool features as well. Uh, it's going to come with new plants, so that should be very interesting, uh, but we haven't seen any look at it in a snapshot yet, which I am very excited for. I'm hoping that's in the coming weeks. Uh, but the last thing I need to show you guys is where to find each of these armor trims. So let's go ahead and check out where each one can be found. The first can be found in the Pillager Outpost, and this is going to be the Sentry Armor Trim, and you'll be able to find it in one of the loot chests up on top of the Pillager Outpost. The next is the Dune Armor Trim, and this can be found in a Desert Pyramid. Now hopefully you find one that isn't spawned in like this, although this is kind of cool looking. But if you go inside to the loot, oh my god, thank god I'm in creative, then you'll be able to find it in one of these chests. Here is the dune armor trim. We'll just go ahead and set that off. On to the next one. Next up, in the shipwrecks, you'll be able to find the coast armor trim, and it'll spawn in just one of the standard shipwreck chests. I hate swimming in creative, but you'll be able to find this coast armor trim in here as well. Next up, inside of the jungle temple, you'll be able to find the wild armor trim. And this will also spawn just inside as loot, uh, and you'll be able to find it in one of these chests. We'll plant it in there right now. Perfect. The smithing template for wild armor trim. Next up, the Tide Armor Trim. You'll be able to find in an Ocean Monument, but as you may already know, there are no chests inside of the Ocean Monument. So what you're gonna actually have to do is kill the Elder Guardians, and I think there's about a 20% chance that it drops uh, this smithing template for the Tide Armor Trim. Next up, in the Ancient Cities, you'll be able to find the Ward Armor Trim, and this will of course just be in one of the loot chests around and hopefully you don't get killed by a warden while you look for it. Next, inside of the Woodland Mansion, you'll be able to find the Vex Armor Trim. And for the last of the Overworld Armor Templates, the Eye Armor Trim. And this one you can find inside of a Stronghold. The other three Armor Trims that we'll take a look at are actually going to be inside of the Nether and the End Dimension. First up, in the end dimension, you'll be able to find the smithing template for the spire armor trim, and this will be found in the end cities, so you can go ahead and look for this while you're collecting shulkers and also looking for elytras. First up in the nether, at the nether fortress, you'll actually be able to find the rib armor trim, and this will be in just one of the chests in the nether fortress but it may take you a pretty good amount of time to find a chest where one spawns in it. And last but not least, in the Bastion, you'll be able to find the Snout Armor Trim. And you should be able to find this 
inside of one of the treasure chests uh, in the treasure room. Uh, unfortunately, there's not one in mine, but hopefully it's in yours. So these are going to be fairly difficult to find and pretty expensive to duplicate as well. But we are really looking at some in-game level stuff where you're not even... Uh, adding any benefits to your armor. The gold doesn't protect against piglins. All you're adding is just a look customization to it. And I actually kind of really like this. Uh, there's no real use for it. You don't have to do it, but it is something that you can do in the later stages of your game uh, once you have the diamonds for it. All right, that is all that I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I'll be doing more of these videos as we get new information on the 1.20 update, which hopefully should be very soon. Hopefully we get a new snapshot this week with some new features as well, but I am definitely excited for this update. It's kind of an odd update. We don't know a ton of information like we have with previous updates uh, but so far what we do know is that a lot of the things coming in this update are different ways to express yourself uh, different uh, new default skins uh, they're adding things to the game to change up your armor so definitely a lot of interesting stuff coming in this update and hopefully we get some more information and features for it very soon but anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like on it. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.